It was nearly nightfall. The orphan girl blinked away snowflakes falling in her eyes. Everyone was bundled and busy. A wagon sprayed ice across the girl's feet. Out of the way, the wheels grumbled. But the child was not afraid and did not step back. She stood bravely, holding out all she had in the world. Her last bundle of wooden matches, saved for selling this Christmas Eve. As the tide of darkness rose, the people ebbed away, disappearing across courtyards and around corners. But their paths would not lead them to Christmas, not at least to the love and compassion of Christmas. That was already standing silently before them, and that they had passed by unaware. And so the little solitary girl remained unnoticed. When finally the streets were empty, the little match girl retreated to a corner between two stone houses. She tucked her little hands under her arms and buried her face in the shreds of her dress. But she couldn't withdraw for long. She had to look up and out. And as she did, she spied a dull yellow gas lamp. It was a small but steady flame, like the faith that flickered in her heart. If only she could warm herself in its glow. But wait, she already had a fire. Digging into her pocket, she drew out a match. In an instant, it was blazing before her. She held her hand in front of the flame and imagined she was sitting before a stove. Someone was feeling the basket of wood nearby. The child stretched out her feet. Ah, at last, firelight kissed her delicate fingers and toes. The air enfolded her in a blanket of kindness. closed, the little match blew out. No, no, come back, she exclaimed. Come back. She reached into her pocket. Just one more, she thought, as she pulled out another match. Whoosh. Again, a long flame reached up. Bright lights flickered in her shining eyes. She imagined she was staring into a magnificent chandelier. Suddenly, the wall of the stone house disappeared and she could see a great dining room. A woman was slaying the table with a steaming goose and sweet bread brimming with spices and candied fruit. The child's lips parted with wonder.
But again, as the little girl closed her eyes, a snowflake landed on the match, and a wisp of smoke rose into the night air. No, don't leave me, come back, she cried. Come back. Desperately, she reached for another match. Before she could stop herself, she was striking it against the wall. In the flash of light, she saw a sparkling silver ornament. It was held by graceful hands and placed upon the green boughs of a Christmas tree. The child lifted her eyes up, up, up! A thousand lights, a hundred thousand facets of beauty and wonder and joy, stars dancing in the sky. Yes, she thought, yes, this is heaven. As she gasped with the light, her eyes closed and the match went out. The brilliant stars tumbled down and the great tree disappeared. Bowing her head, warm tears fell onto her freezing hands and she covered the last of her matches. Fire in the stove. A feast on the table, lights on the tree. How could this be gone, she wondered. There was something real in them, something alive, something waiting. Believing as a child, she lifted the remaining matches and spoke to them simply. Can you bring Christmas back? Can you give me that beautiful world again? With a prayer pounding in her heart, she scrapped the matches against the stone wall, all of them at once. For a moment, nothing came. But then, slowly, a single flame took hold and burst into a bouquet of fire. As she peered into the blaze, she heard a familiar voice. Come, little one. She knew this rustling of skirts, the sweet fragrance. Grandmother, she cried, turning around. You are here. The kindly woman gathered the child in her arms, whispering, Yes, dear one, I am here, as I have always been. Then, like a great swan spreading her wings, she wrapped her granddaughter in a white shawl. Grandmother took her tiny hand and drew her close. I have come to you, so you can come with me. The little girl felt warmth flow into her feet and hands, and the two rose silently into the night. The child's dress was full now, with petticoats flowing, and a pretty blue sash dancing in the winter wind. She looked out, Snow sparkled across the rooftops and moonlight turned the river into a silvery river. For just a moment, the little match girl looked down into the street. Alas, 
A poor child was resting against the wall with burned out matchsticks around her and a smile of perfect happiness on her lips. When I come back, she thought to herself, I will bring that brave child more Christmas matches. I'll bring a whole bundle of them. Squeezing her grandmother's hand, she looked up into the warm light of heaven. Stars were gathering in the open portals, waiting to dance with joy. She would never look down again. The next morning, people glanced at the child's body and turned away. They could only imagine that she had been abandoned there, alone in the darkness. But the truth is, she was never alone. What they did not know was that in her last moments, she had drawn on the light she had, on everything within her to kindle the visions of Christmas. And in return, Christmas had brought her the love of family, the compassion of heaven, and a pathway home. As snowflakes fell in the match girl's eyes, her tears were washed away, and the fire in her heart burned on bright and strong forever and ever.